Hi there, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a sneak peek at the upcoming golem changes. Now I have not finished it and it's still very much work in progress. So um, bear with me. For example, if I were to show you the wonderful icon I have for the golems and even better, the wonderful model, you'll see that it's definitely still work in progress. In this video, I'm actually not going to talk much about the golems. Um, I'm still working on them and uh, the golems themselves will probably get their own sneak peek video in the future. Um, what I can say is this golem here, as it is, um, is probably about has one tenth the code the other golems have. It's way more streamlined, more efficient. The old Thorncraft 3 and 4 golems, they were, well, to be honest, very badly written. <laughs> um, and he also has very minimal AI, which I'll explain in the rest of the video, why that is and how I managed it. Now, you probably noticed on my hotbar, the cores, though they're obviously, as you can see, not called cores anymore, they're called seals. And that's for a good reason. Those of you that played Thorncraft 2 might remember the seals you could get and you can, could place them against floor, walls and floors and they had varying effects. They could like shoot fire at mobs or make crops grow, stuff like that. Obviously they, with Thorncraft 3, they got replaced by golems and some of the functionality also got put into the lamps. But like the general theme of Thorncraft 5 has been so far, I'm kind of doing a bit of a throwback, though not quite the same as Thorncraft 2 seals. But let me show you. Instead of going into golems as their cores, you now place them into the world, like that. Now this is the collect seal. It works pretty much exactly the same like the gather core used to work. You can see it shows an error, though that is just only displayed when you're actually holding a seal or a golem or the bell. Now you can actually click on the seal and then you can configure things like how big it is, etc. Let's switch it back to the way it was. Uh, you could also set things like priorities, or in this case set up a filter so it only picks up certain items, but I'm going to leave that blank for now. Now the seals actually isn't a block. If I, I can actually show you. That's where the seal is. I can place it there and it's still there. It's not an entity either. Um, Vanilla Minecraft entities have way more code and processing that than, than I require for the seal. So instead I did my own thing, which allows me to do things like have multiple seals in the same block. Obviously only one per side, but still. And I mean, you can imagine if you have machines, you can have a row of machines and seals still accessing the sides. But for now, I'm just going to stick to the one, let's remove these. Now, the golem doesn't have to be linked to the seal at all. The way the system works is it creates a task. When I drop something on the ground, yep, there it comes. The golem just comes and picks it up. It, the golems are constantly, the only AI they have is they look for tasks that are available and the seals actually create those tasks. So the seal saw there was an item lying near it. It created a task and this golem saw there was a task available and it came and picked up the seal. Now obviously it's currently just holding on to it because it doesn't actually know what to do with it. So let's give it something to do with the full seal. Pop it on a chest. There it goes. By the way, the particle effects is just for my own debug purposes. But if you look now, there's the diamond. Drop some more things. Let's drop something outside as well, just to see. Uh, 
Now, to demonstrate this even better, let's pop down some more golems, and drop a bunch of diamonds. As you can see, they all happily get assigned tasks, go to it, and do their thing. So the idea basically is you don't have a specific golem doing a specific thing. You just create golems, place them where they're needed, and they'll automatically go do tasks that they are able to do um, as part of the second half of my golem redo um, I'll basically currently all these golems are exactly the same but obviously I'm not going to leave it like that golems will have different features different capabilities different ways of moving etc etc um, Unfortunately, there's not much more I can actually show you. Uh, I'm, as I said, I'm still in the process. Uh, there will we can be different versions of the seal. So you can see there's a full seal and there's an advanced full seal. Um, the normal one, basically you can filter one item or set the priority. Uh, the priority system is fairly simple. The higher the priority is, the more likely a golem is to do this task created by this thing first. So. You can imagine having a bunch of tests, uh, chests for a sorting system with different priorities to assign where items go. But the advanced seal, you have more filter slots, you have options like checking metadata or NBT data and various other options. So yeah, this is currently what I'm busy with. I'm in the process of trying to put um, convert over all the old cores and make them seals. Currently I'm fairly sure I'll be able to do almost all of them. Um, I think the only one that might be a bit difficult is the fishing core but uh, I don't, don't think that's exactly the most popular of the seals anyway but I'm sure I'll be able to do it. Um, and once I'm done with that then it's then I'm gonna start working on the interesting stuff golems um, and all their new bits and bobs but that's all for this video see ya